with Cheryl. So that is the cool bridge fact. Cool. Dave. And Lola. It's a well preserved Roman vent. Join us as we pitch up and travel all around the UK. So good morning. We've left Bournemouth for the day. We're going back there later this evening, uh, but we've driven along the coast to Bamba Castle. You can see it in the background. It's absolutely breathtaking when you turn the corner at Sea Houses and see it. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. The sky's a bit moody, but the sun was shining on it as we drove past. And these um, car parks are gem. So it's always good when you come into a car park and you can park your motorhome and there's designated spaces. Now every other space is an overnighter, um, so you can pay £12 and then that's your view. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So we're going to go and have a look around the castle. It's forecast rain, but we'll see what happens. As forecast, the rain came whilst we were in the castle and we had great fun watching the flooded road from the top of the castle. After the castle, we walked into Bamba Village, which is literally just around the corner. There's lots of places to get tea, cake, ice cream and a few cosy looking pubs. In the village, there is a museum dedicated to the Victorian heroine, Grace Darling. She was a lighthouse keeper's daughter who helped to rescue survivors of the shipwrecked Forfarshire in 1838. And opposite the museum is the churchyard where she is buried and there's a memorial that looks out to sea. Press the buttons in the right order to light up the lighthouse.
are beautiful. Beautiful weather. It's windy here. So this is a memorial, it's not actually her burial, but her grave. Because her grave is just over there with those with that railings around it. So this is a memorial. And the idea is that people going by at sea can see it and thank her for the part of her contribution to modern day life saving at sea, i.e. own alliance to put out. There you go, right, it's freezing, let's go in the church. <laughs> We had a look in St Aidan's Crypt, which is the final resting place of the Bamba Bones. In the church you can learn about the excavation of the 110 Anglo-Saxon skeletons that were found in the sand dunes near Bamba Castle. July, you know, middle of summer. <laughs> Thankfully, we'd finished our wander around Bamba, so we headed back to Marge for a warm and dry drive back to our campsite. So in our next video, you'll join us in Berwick. And on the way, we're heading to Holy Island. So make sure you look out for when that video is out. Next time, we make our way further along the Northumberland coast and take in the stunning Holy Island. We hope you've enjoyed our wanderings. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to click the bell to be notified of when we post our next video. Drop us a comment in the comments box, ask us anything, we don't mind and we hope to see you again soon.